Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now yesterday we took a look at the new DLSS update for Cyberpunk 2077 with an entry level RTX 3050. There are now two options to choose from when it comes to DLSS in this game, the original Convolutional Neural Network setting or CNN and the new Transformer model setting. According to the in-game description, the new Transformer model offers more image stability, less ghosting and improved anti-aliasing. Personally, I do believe the new Transformer model looks better, though it does seem to come at a slight cost to performance. I demonstrated this yesterday with my 3050 and the same can be said with the 4060 we have in the system today. If we cycle through performance runs with the FPS metrics on screen, we can see the old CNN quality mode runs a little better than the new TM quality mode. As I said though, the image does look better and dropping to the DLSS balanced preset with the new transformer model seems to produce an image that's comparable to the DLSS DLSS quality preset with the older CNN setting, at least according to my eyeballs. Doing so will also recoup some of the lost performance while still offering an image that seems sharper with better anti-aliasing and reduced ghosting. I understand it may be difficult to pick up any visual improvements post compression, but I'd recommend trying it for yourselves if you have an RTX card to see what you think. It's part of the latest game update so the DLSS options should be there already. Ready. That said, I can't sit here and tell you it's perfect. I've definitely noticed a few visual glitches, um, not this one because I can't imagine falling through and then getting stuck in the road is the fault of DLSS, I'm talking texture flickering. A couple of metal fence textures and foliage mainly, nothing major by any means and you might not even be able to pick it up through the video. If we look at this footage here, what I'm trying to show you is uh, that DLSS balanced mode with the new TM setting it does cause a little bit of flickering with these trees here and when we turn DLSS off it has of course vanished but like I say you might not even be able to see that after compression. Now I'd certainly recommend using the new transformer model DLSS mode with the 4060 though just as I would with the weaker 3050 tested yesterday. The performance sacrifice on average is less this time around though. To finalise I thought we'd crank up the settings all the way, I'm talking RT overdrive with path tracing to see how it runs with the 4060 before and after utilising the new DLSS mode. It'll be interesting to see which DLSS preset we need to squeeze 60 FPS from this modern entry level card. Okay, so at 1080p with path tracing enabled and DLSS off, we are getting almost 30 frames per second. I'm just going to begin a benchmark here. I am cheating a little bit. I am in the middle of the Badlands outside of Night City, but we will venture into Night City in a little bit. I just want to see how it performs uh, in and around one of my favorite in-game areas. As soon as I got in the car, the uh, frame rate started to dip here. We'll make our way over to the tower. My driving is exceptional as always. I really like this weather in Cyberpunk 2077. Right, we'll just park our vehicle up here. As you can see, between 20 and 30 frames per second. It's looking really nice. I'll confirm the performance metrics with an overlay on the screen. But now, we'll get rid of that for a second. We'll jump into the options. As you can see, Resolution scaling was off. We'll enable DLSS now with the new transformer model. We'll start with quality. And I'm going to leave DLSS ray reconstruction on because apparently this is improved as well. I've not had much time to test this, but I saw a couple of people saying that the NPC and skin textures, face textures were improved and shimmering with chain link fences was improved now. So I think we'll leave it on. According to the description here, it enhances image quality by generating high quality pixels between sampled rays. So sounds good to me. We'll leave it on, see if it helps. All right, it is at least 30 frames per second now. So this is definitely what some would consider playable, myself included. You know, if I wanted to make the most out of the path tracing visuals with an RTX 4060, I'd be happy playing like this, perhaps not during those fast action intensive missions, especially considering when you're out of the vehicle, it's first person, so it may feel a little jarring, but honestly, this to me seems fine. This is coming from someone who used to play 
um, most games on a PlayStation 3 back in the day. So I'm used to between 20 and 30 frames per second, to be honest. But let's see if we can improve on this. We'll go back into the options menu now. I will get to Night City in a minute, I promise. I'm just a bit scared. I think the frame rate's going to be absolutely terrible. I'm putting it off for as long as possible. Performance mode. Is that enough for 60 frames per second? Enable the overlay. Oh, well, look at that. Absolutely perfect. 60 plus frames per second with the Transformer model DLSS. And actually, this does look a lot better than the previous CNN performance mode. It is pretty hard to pick up due to compression and all that through the video once it's uploaded, but hopefully I can do it some sort of justice. And this may be helpful to any of you who own a 4060, want to try out the new DLSS update, and of course you want 60 frames per second with path tracing on. So far, so good, but let's make our way to Night City and face the inevitable. Okay, so here we are, Night City, path tracing mode enabled on the RTX 4060, ultra settings as well, native resolution here for between 20 and 25 frames per second. As you can see, our 4060 is maxing out utilization wise. I have this paired with an i7-12700F, not the fastest CPU in the world, but I feel like this is a nice pairing, something you may want to consider as sticking with a card like this. It can handle a lot more, of course. In terms of VRAM, well, pretty much everything is being utilized here or assigned. And in terms of utilization, or usage process, we're looking at about 6.8 gigs. Probably not helping in this situation, but once again, we'll jump into the menu and we'll see if we can actually hit 60 frames per second, that magic number with DLSS super resolution, transformer model and performance mode. Here we go. Oh, okay, yeah, so almost 60 frames per second with some dips and drops. You're looking at between 50 and 60. This is a particularly busy part of town. Can I borrow this car? Oh, I can. Didn't think I'd be able to do that. I thought my stats would be too low. When we're driving, it is going to dip towards 50, but it still looks pretty good. I am impressed with this new DLSS model, that's for sure. That looked really nice under there. That lighting effect looked pretty solid. Um, I could happily play the entirety of the game like this. Look at this. This looks really good. I might use this as a thumbnail, actually. What we'll do, though, is we'll choose Ultra Performance Mode now really boost our frame rates up to hopefully above 60 FPS. And of course, with this ultra performance mode and transformer model, it should look a bit better than the old CNN model too. But back in the game, oh, well, there we go. Look at that, plus 70 frames per second. I can definitely tell now that we do have a pretty aggressive form of DLSS enabled. But as I said before, it looks better than the old CNN model. And it's probably just a shame that that doesn't come through with the compression. We are seeing a lot more flickering now or let's say jagged edges around objects like the lamppost up there the tree as well fences especially even with the ray reconstruction stuff on we are still seeing some flickering but if you want to play the game at plus 60 fps plus 70 fps on some occasions with an rtx 4060 you want to make the best use of all the game has to offer visuals wise then it can certainly be done with the help of the new dlss modes of course and a modern uh, entry level card as for this video i hope you've enjoyed it thank you very much for watching i recommend giving this a go for yourselves if you haven't done so already whoops lost control of the car i really didn't mean to do that as i say oh dear uh, let's flee the scene it's a baked in in-game update so you don't have to add any dlls yourself uh, just update the game to 2.21 and the option will be there if you have an rtx card but that's all for this one Thank you, and I will see you hopefully next time.